This is the ultrasound of a 40 years old female married Paris and uh, feels a mass or a swelling or you can say a, with pain in the right lower abdominal quadrant and she places her hand over here. Now if I place the probe in this region I definitely get a pathology. Now let's see that on the ultrasound machine. This is the area where I place the probe and this is a bubble segment that, you are, that is in front of you with trapped bubble. The, this is the segment. In longitudinal section it measures 8.4 centimeters and it measures 4.9 centimeters approximately in uh, anterior posterior diameter where it's uh, transverse. If I rotate the probe 90 degree at this area, then this is the transverse of this. Uh, bowel segment weighing 5.7 so this is uh, in fact a bowel related segment this is a bowel segment in right lower quadrant of the abdomen now, uh, if you uh, see, then uh, its wall, this, this black area surrounding this echogenic areas uh, is the wall of the uh, bowel, which is regular. It's not there is no irregularity, and the wall thickness is uh, approximately 11.3. Normal should not exceed more than five. So the bowel walls are inflamed. Then this, these white areas, these bright, ecogenic, shiny areas, giving you see these, these giving shadow posteriorly, and this is the dirty shadow. These are the trapped bowel uh, gas gases within the lumen of the gut uh, bowel segment. This bowel segment. These are again. This is the wall. This black area. Uh, uh, of the bowel segment is the wall and this bright ecogenic area with posterior shadowing is the gas and grab gas within the lumen of the uh, bowel segment and it is definitely seen in the region of the right lower abdominal quadrant with uh, This is the bowel segment under study. The region where it is, you see this is the urinary bladder. This is the urinary bladder in longitudinal section. This is the uterus in longitudinal section. This is the endometrial canal. So the uterus uh, gives a postpartum appearance. The myometrium gives, gives a postpartum appearance, though so the patient does not. As you see the myometrium. It gives the postpartum appearance. These are the cervical lips. This one. Anterior lip, the posterior lip, the cervical canal, and this is the endometrial canal that may is 10.3 millimeters and the uterus may is 7.6 centimeters by 5.6 centimeters and its dimensions are raised in anterior posterior diameter. However, there is no focal region seen relating to the myometrium. Outer wall of the uterus is uh, regular. This is the anterior segment. This is the posterior wall. This is the fundal region. And uh, there is no pathology seen relating to the 
appears to in longitudinal section. There is, however, no fluid seen in the uterine cavity. This is the ovary. This is the right or the left ovary, and these, these are the follicles developing within it. Now, if the mass is uh, here. Power segment and this is the power segment. Okay. And is there any paraiotic region adenopathy? There is no paraiotic region adenopathy. This is the aorta. This is the spirimus and the celiac axis. And uh, what about the porta hepatis? Now this is the porta hepatis. No adenopathy in this region. This is the common bile duct, the transfer section, IVC. This is the aorta. This is the superior mesenteric artery. This is the liver. It is normal. Liver is okay. Is there any pleural effusion? No, there is no fluid seen. Now this is the right hemidiaphragm. There is no fluid seen in this above it. So no pleurophy. And on the right side, the hepatic veins are not dilated. And XRO, KSRO, and are of normal caliber as this is the right. Hepatic vein, this is the left hepatic vein, uh, sorry, middle hepatic vein. Okay. This is the gallbladder. This is the gallbladder with a fold, and this is the portal vein. So, this area is clear. This is the pancreas. Pancreas. This is the body of the pancreas. This is the tail of the pancreas. This is the splenic vein, uh, which we take as a landmark for the identification of the pancreas. Superior mesenteric vein, aorta, IVC, superior mesenteric artery. This is the head of the pancreas. This area in transfer section. This is the tail of the pancreas. No pathology seen relating to this region. Now, is there any? You would above the left hemidiaphragm. This is the left hemidiaphragm and we don't see any fluid. This is the spleen. And the spleen is there spleen of Magali? We see these things. There is the, no spleen is measuring 8.3, normally is up to 12, so there is no spleen of Magali. The kidney is, the left uh, kidney, right left kidney is seen normal. The, is there any mass effect of the uh, bowel mass on the right ureter? No, this kidney you see is normal. There is no hydronephrosis. So there is the uh, Now let's give a sweep to all of the abdomen uh, to see if there is any other satellite lien somewhere else. Give a sweep to the aorta. Follow the it follows to be near the blighter region to get the IE vessels. Here we are. And why we do this is to rule out if there is any regional adenopathy that is relating to this 
bubble mass. So this is how you study a bubble mass. And this is in fact keeping in view the uh, position of this uh, mass. This is a bubble related salt mass in the IVX region. This is iliocecal mass. This is a typical picture of an iliocecal bubble mass. Thank you.